Hello, everybody. Hello, Internet. How's oh, I didn't doing? know we were going to be broadcast throughout the building. Yeah, now everybody can hear us. Drink more soda. <laughs> it's imperative. <laughs> it's delicious. <laughs> hey, everyone. Um, we are here, and we are showing you. We're here for Unbox. We're showing you all the rad San Diego Comic-Con exclusives. I'm Leanna Vamp. I'm Mike Falzone. You can find us both on the Internet. You I feel I almost feel bad for doing this, because we're essentially doing what everyone at home would like to do I now. know. So don't shoot the messenger. We're here as a surrogate for you to experience all this stuff with us together. We're sharing the love of Comic-Con with you through the internet. Yeah, but we're touching it. We are touching them. And we're going to be opening them too, which is really exciting. Yeah. And playing with them and yes. losing them like you did with toys when you were yes. a child. We're essentially five years old right now. It's going to be great. I plan on losing everything on this single. <laughs> so everything is brought to you by Skybound Entertainment, and you can find all of the exclusives if you're at Comic-Con or going to be coming to Comic-Con at booth 2729. Also, everything that is left over will be hitting skybound.com, sir. So there is a chance that you can get it online, but if you're here, I would snatch it now because right. all of this stuff is probably going to be gone very soon. So anything that is not sold here this weekend or touched by our dirty, greasy fingers. I washed my hands before. I did not, <laughs> so my dirty, greasy fingers will be up for sale on Skybound. <laughs> Uh, we should start with what we're wearing. Yes. Probably. Can yes. I ask you, can I do the E <laughs> True Hollywood thing? Yes, you can. What, and what are I you wearing? I would get up right and now, spin, Leo? but I can't really. So <laughs> I'm, tethered, I'm sure. the poster child for, uh, for Negan and Lucille today. Yep. I've got the hat, I have the shirt, which is, this is a new shirt I'm absolutely in love with, and I pretty much own everything Negan. Um, and all of this, again, is available at the booth. Um, I've also got the really cool exclusive pin. I don't know if you guys can see that I was going to say, there. did the pin come with that? Tell me about no, the pin. No, it did not. The pin is separate. And there's also a Lucille little bracelet here. I've wanted to see this for days now. They want, sent can, me. I do kind of want it. Go I ahead. I don't know. Okay. You're going to wear it like that. <laughs> Thank you. Just like that. They sent me the picture of this a couple of days ago, and I was like, I need to see this in person. It's beautiful. This is awesome, and the detail on it is yeah. crazy. The barbed wire is like its own It's a thing. little dangerous, so you can use it as a weapon as well, which is always good. This and on the inside, dangerous. it's got, it says, I don't know if you guys can see that, it says The Walking Dead on the inside, which is awesome. super awesome. That is awesome. You might not get this back. <laughs> He's just going to put it in his <laughs> Don't put things in your nose. Awesome. Not safe. Um, we also have, I'm going to let you open this baby right here. Oh, yeah, this giant bat? That giant dangerous. Be very careful. It is very dangerous. So this is also Lucille themed, right? It's the bat, but it's not this. Okay, I'll so maybe you, you don't first. have room in your one-bedroom right. apartment for right. things like this. But this is also part of a blind box set. Right? It is. So you don't know exactly what you're getting. And they're really cute. They're really, really cute. You're going to love it. That's all that matters. When you're shopping for a barbed wire bat, it really only matters how cute it is. How cute and adorable it is. OK, Ooh. so I got the black and white one. No blood splatter, which is good. They, come, they do come with blood splatter. There's a blood splatter option as well. Oh, so no. it just means you have to buy buy extras because you never know what you're going to get. Right? I might have to use your bracelet, you use the bracelet to open this. It's sharp. All right, well, just we... hit it as hard as you can. <laughs> that totally worked, guys. It also, worked. a bag opener. It shows you how dangerous <laughs> the bracelet is. Good. So we're almost we're there. We're almost there. The valet guy took my keys, so now I only have this keychain. Well, there you go. And it's a keychain, too, which is super cool. I already have one on my backpack which this I don't awesome. have here, but It's yes. kind of rubbery, so it'll hurt you way less yeah, than the less bracelet. Less than the bracelet. <laughs> but you should have everything Lucille, in my yeah. opinion. You should. OK, can I open the big one now? Absolutely. And just dwarf this thing immediately? <laughs> it's like Christmas. It's like your Christmas, but like when your sister gets all the better stuff, because they don't like you as much, <laughs> is what's happening right now. I keep wanting to like stand up and hold everything, because it's so Oh my cool. goodness. Dude, see, if I was still a small child, I would take this to wiffle ball down the block. Oh, yeah. And everyone would be like, oh, the fat kid can't hit a wiffle ball. Yeah, but the fat kid has a barbed wire bat. And you bat. show up with a barbed wire bat. Yeah. Like, say that again to me, buddy. <laughs> when you're, like, seven. Exactly. Or I'll show up now as a 31-year-old yeah. to the wiffle ball game with, with the, the rest of the 10-year-olds. Yes. Oh, I think that's a awesome. terrible idea. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah. Also, don't walk around in public with this, maybe. 
But I mean, it's, <laughs> it's Comic Con, so I feel like this is a good time. And this weekend is the only people weekend. People will see that and not even think twice that you're really going to hurt somebody. No. Don't really hurt people, guys. Like, I was going to steal that guy's chicken fingers, and then I saw him with his bat. This is awesome. I'm glad that it you went to like, chicken fingers. It's I'm, gigantic. It is. It's, it's full size. It is how... 34? Um, 34 inches. It? Yeah, it's a full size Megan Lucille bat. And really it's beautiful. Awesome. And I'm probably just going to walk around because I have the full outfit tonight. As you should. I'm going to go to the parties tonight with the bat like You've this. earned that bat. Right? Right? I hope they, <laughs> hopefully they let me in. <laughs> All right. Nice. So I'm going to ask you a question. Go ahead. Who do you think in the last episode, got Lucille. When you say Lucille, yeah. you mean struck with a barbed wire wiffle ball bat. Right, right, like, ah! Okay, so I know that in the comics, there was a bit of a debacle, but it was it was Glenn. Right, so spoiler I'm gonna alert. Say, yeah, spoiler alert, <laughs> if you haven't read Even the comics that have been out for a long time. You should know by now. I'm gonna say Glenn. I don't know if they would, would they switch it up for the show? So. I kind of, my first reaction was like, ah, it's the comics, it has to be Glenn. Yeah. But I feel like he's so important. Yeah. So important. And I, I feel like there's a couple characters that it, it could have been, but I think losing anyone is like, I'll probably cry no matter who, who it is. I get I'm, it. I'm attached. Um, but hasn't but, Game of Thrones taught us that no one's really yeah, important enough not to die? Nobody is safe. Yeah. But I, I don't know. I feel like Glenn, Glenn, I. I'm praying for you, man. You just pull, you just more than wanting it to be somebody else. You just don't. Want I just it don't to want it to be Glenn. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know who I want it to be, but maybe I, they I took out an don't. extra, and they'll come back and they'll be like, "Yeah, it wasn't." They important just found at all. a random guy, and yeah. we're like, "We're gonna build him up a little, just so that no one gets too upset." Yeah, we killed Matt. Yeah, Sorry. we killed Matt. <laughs> <laughs> so on to more Negan. I feel like Negan is all the rage right now, yeah, and he's man. kind of the character that is the worst person like sure. the, the little like the worst he's an but asshole. is he totally the worst person well we don't he has know. kind of like a skewed sense of justice yeah i feel like maybe there's some stuff we'll, we'll learn about later and why he is the worst person but he's terrible yeah he's, he's one of the most guy. terrible human beings and he just laughs about everything so you're like god you're horrible yeah but i really like you and i don't know why is there something wrong with me right. why do i like you so much and he has a potty mouth and yes. that's, sometimes I have trouble listening oh. to potty mouth. Pot, potty. You know? I like they use the term potty mouth. Yeah, I don't like it. We forgot this guy right here. Oh, your boy. What we were just boy. talking about. We forgot. <laughs> we forgot exactly I what I don't want thing. to happen. We should do we get to up. open up yeah, this Yeah, I think we do. Okay, so you, this you. is, it's Negan and Glenn, right, which we just told you maybe yeah. didn't come to the to an understanding by the end oh, of their Oh, we need meeting. the bracelet again. Hold on. I'm keeping my oh, fingers, fingers way out sorry. of this. I'm just going to be bleeding profusely <laughs> by the end of this show. So a uh, bunch of cool things in here. There's obviously Negan just smiling like a little cartoon Henry Rollins. So happy about bashing people's brains in. So happy about being covered in blood. And there's Glenn, who used to be a full person, full functioning person. Used to love to wear hats. I remember that about Glenn. And then all of a sudden, if you see over here, comes with that? a tiny little bashed in head. And that's kind of the end result of meeting Negan, is maybe your head's not going to be the exact size Probably and shape not. it was. Probably not. Something is not going to be the same as it was before if you upset him. Yeah. And it's got all the cool, oh, we're all taped in here. But maybe, I don't know if we can get I it all I was going to try to get, but he's I even have, like, intimidating the, in tiny form. I have the perfect claws for this. You do. I don't want to like this bling. Open. There's little mini things. There's a little axe. Out. I'm it's obsessed little, with this little head. Lucille Bat. Look at this. Just for, I don't know if there's any um, like biology majors out there or anyone who studies the human body, but you might find that a head is not supposed to be this nope. shape and size. Nope. This is a damaged head. Your head looks like this. So you go ahead and get to a doctor because you may have been hit several times with a barbed wire baseball You're not, not going to make, gonna make it. it. Cute Drive little yourself. tiny weapons. So Glenn's head comes off. You can put the Bastion head on there. Um, Awesome. Some of these are staying where they are. Right. Yeah, they're zip tied in there, but we got smile. We're gonna refrain ourselves from just playing with toys and show you some other stuff too. Right? I could just for the next yeah. 25 minutes, I could just be here like, making no. these guys talk to each no. other. But no. more Negan. We have more Negan. Um, we also have. We'll do these one at a time. Um, some Negan variants of other comics, which are 
awesome. I saw these last night and I was like, yes, I need those. Yeah, man, just toss this dude on the cover. I know. Why not? Look at the smile. It's Kids just, used it's to make so fun demented. of me in school for having kind of a demented, weird smile like that. Mike, you ever get made fun of for having a weird smile? Or was it, no, you have, you a, have beautiful a beautiful smile. smile. I have like a weird joker <laughs> smile. And I feel, this is how I felt when I was a child. Like this, without all the violence and the potty language. Are you sure? Uh, without all the violence. Oh <laughs> Some of the potty language. Most of the potty language. Okay, I'm going to put these little guys, where do we, I'm going to put them up here. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Are they talking have, to oh, oh, they are, are they talking saying? to us. Here we have the, uh, the AIM instant messenger window. <laughs> I'm blind, nice. so I'm going to leave the reading to you because I can't see very far. I got mostly a glare. One of them says, I want one. That one says, can they see the chat? And now, no, now that we, is very now apparent. No, now we couldn't, apparently. We couldn't see it. But Jason Bourne is here, apparently. Oh, thank goodness. Yes. We'd like to welcome Jason Bourne. And someone wants you to adopt to them. I don't know how you feel about that. But. I mean, I'll leave here with a kid, for sure. Yeah. Sunday, Sundaygo? San Diego? <laughs> uh, sure, man. I mean, I have a tiny apartment. I live with my lady. We were thinking about getting a dog, but there's no space for the you dog. Can get a, you can get a San Diego. Right, but a person's different. They can clean up after themselves. You can put them to work. For the most part. Do you eat a lot? Let us know in the comments below. Yeah, we'll below. check back in. And if in you a don't moment. eat that much, you're in, basically. <laughs> you're allowed. You're allowed. So we have uh, Manifest Destiny has a Negan uh, variant. We also have Birthright, and then you have uh, Thief of Thieves. So these are gonna be just, again, for San Diego Comic-Con, so make sure to get them, because I really don't think these ones are gonna last very long. No. Nope. Pretty awesome to add to the collection. I'm taking this one, for <laughs> example. Before this, this is over, Mike is gonna take one of those giant San Diego Comic-Con bags and put yeah. everything in it, and we're never gonna see him again. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, bye. <laughs> All right. Cool, but man. I think we've seen Negan on a bunch of covers. I think it would be cool. We have some Outcast over here. I think we need to get Negan a variant of Outcast. I think Might that would well. be super awesome. This guy could very easily be Negan. Yeah. Okay, give this guy a bat. Demented smile. Maybe, definitely a demented smile. Demented Maybe, smile. Uh, exchange the rain for blood. For blood, and yeah. And just kind of let that rain down on you for a little while. Boom. I think Negan. You, yeah, I think we, could, we should do that. Yeah. And I think we're going to do some, some trivia. Okay. And originally, the rules were... Please I didn't, explain to them what was going to happen. <laughs> this happened without even talking to Mike about it. So originally, we're going to ask some trivia, and um, if he got it wrong, I was going to shoot him with this amazing dart crossbow. Can you say anything about this crossbow? That it's amazing? Uh, that it looks authentic. It and is deadly. awesome. And, but the, the moral of the story here is... This thing hurts at close range. Yeah. And I didn't, we're right next to each other, so I feel like if I was like right here. That's only, I'm wincing and it, nothing's even it, happened. It'd yet. probably be really dangerous. I don't so even think it's in there right and it looks like it No, hurts. I don't, no, yeah, you're gonna get it. Like, we're gonna shoot it in a minute, but I'm gonna ask you a question first. So and I then like we'll shoot that it. the discussion was hey, you know what would be funny? Should Mike get a question wrong? Let's shoot him with this thing. That would be hilarious. Yeah. Everyone I on the stream hilarious. in the chat would love it so much if Mike. Had he, a black eye or was bleeding from I, his nose. No, I, okay, they said shoot him in the face, uh -huh. and I said <laughs> not in the face. That's Specifically not Specifically in the face. Yes, yes. I don't like this. But place. I care for you, and I don't want you to have a black eye. I'm glad somebody does. No <laughs> one else in this building gives a shit about my well-being. Shoot him in the face but was part, the face. <laughs> part of the original conversation. But it's okay, we're not doing that. I'm just checking in to see if... Um, just in case something changed, like if the, the producers in the chat right now, yeah, shoot him in the face. Yeah, or the guy said that he doesn't eat a lot of food, so you can adopt him. But oh, that ha no one's come back. I can't. He didn't. No, he signed off. What? He goes, I'm 21, so it's weird to adopt a 21 year old. Yeah. <laughs> nope. Not okay. There, we're answering. Okay. Um, so trivia. I'm gonna ask you a question, and okay. then I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do. I don't know yet. I just want the consequences to hurt less than the okay. original consequences. Maybe we'll. We'll. Okay. Hold on. Okay, so we are gonna ask you, this is my question. What is, there are multiple choice too, okay. so it is gonna be a little bit easier, maybe. Thank God. <laughs> what Do is, that thing where you pause right before the right answer. Like it'd be this one, this one, That would be this too one easy, one. that would be too easy. Okay, what is Kyle Barnes' wife's name? <laughs> a, Also, Allison. if you wanna help me in the chat, you could do that. You can maybe refer to the studio audience. Kyle Barnes. Um, a. Allison. 
B, Megan, C, Carol, or D, Eve? Carol is a solid wife name. Like if, if there was like a 50, 60 year old woman, mm -hmm. I automatically assume her name is Carol. Carol's like, you've been around for a why while. Why is she 60 years shit. old? Why do you automatically, she's, why do you think she's old? I'm just thinking of a woman who's been through some things. Okay. But I don't want to settle on Carol, because I don't know that that's the right answer. What were the other ones? B, Barbara, A, <laughs> Tiffany, Amber, none of, those, none of those names. Okay. A, Alice, so Allison, Megan, Carol, or Eve? Allison's also a pretty solid wife name. I'm going to go with Allison. A, Allison. That's correct. Yes! Oh, thank goodness. My whole shooting mic in the face. Even though there are no painful consequences, I'll tell you what you could do what? as like a substitute. Yes. You could hit me with Lucille, but okay, not but that one. This, this one. In the face. In the face. With a barbed wire I feel like it would get stuck in your, oh, Oh, no, yeah, maybe no, not in the no, face. Not, <laughs> yeah. uh, I didn't do any wrong ones yet. Oh, no, but you were right. Oh, so then you could do it to me? You just want to hit me. Yeah. I just want to beat people Nailed up. It. I don't know. It's the Negan in me. Yeah. It's this outfit is transforming how <laughs> I feel, and I just am very aggressive. I need to hurt people. Yes. Oh, but let's shoot it, though, because I want to shoot it Might at as something. Well. Nail Can that I shoot wall. It? That wall's oh. been asking for it. We're gonna shoot the wall. We're gonna I shoot feel something. like this could hurt people around you. Let's shoot this wall. All right, let's see what was going to happen to me. Hello? What did it, Mike, I'd watch out, man. <laughs> oh yeah, that would have hurt. That would have hurt like crazy. I would have caught that in my teeth. Did I shoot you? <laughs> How was it supposed to oh, go? Oh, there it goes. See, that it one, was stuck. Hold that on. was the hurty one. Here. I think we have a... Why are some of these Velcro? Oh, no, I'm, like, I'm shooting you? I didn't know I was really shooting you. Put an apple on your head. Put your... Wait a minute, wait Hold a on. minute, wait a minute. That arrow right there yeah. has Velcro hooks oh. on it, and this one has a suction cup. So suction you're welcome cup. for that. Yeah, I'm just going to shoot you with the... I'm going to aim, though. It's dangerous. Wait, wait. <laughs> Hold on. It's Poor not Mike. going. This should be me. Mike, I'll, let Hold me take on. your spot. I can't... I can't watch this happen to you. I need to take Mike's spot. Okay, you're gonna okay so I'm going to shoot you. I refuse to do this to let this happen to a okay. good person. I got I'm it now. He's kind of a shitty dude. How about so? you both stand there and it'll be a surprise who I shoot? That's more at least, fun. We'll at least do yeah. it this is, We'll cover each other's eyes. Cover my face. <laughs> I was totally... Hit me in the head. I hit people. I'm sorry. Who did hit first? I got both. I you got both of us. I think I get extra points for shooting two people with one dart. Yeah, and I got the question dart. right, so why did I even do that? Oh, I don't know. That was your bad. I want that all the totally comments to be like, this show didn't even make sense anymore. I, I liked like... it better when you were punished for getting shit wrong. Well, I mean, only, do you want to shoot me? I feel like that's fair. No, why would no? I want to do that? Why would I want to It's really me? fun. <laughs> it's fun. Did it hurt? It don't feel like it hurt. It was I think I got the least of it. Okay. Yeah. Nobody was hurt while making this unboxed video. No. Uh, what else see. do we got? We have, next, we have the Saga, the yes. Lion Cat from Saga. We have more Saga stuff. We have um, these two down here. So if you want to grab this right also here. These guys? Yeah. Cool Saga. Um, so we have uh, Elena and Marco. We have the figures. And I'm going to start taking them out. Might as well. I like how, I don't know if you can see this, they both have like bashful, just started dating feet. Right here, the feet, feet kind of turned inward. Aww. These are the feet you do at the movie theater while you're waiting for the, the other person feet. to show up. The cute feet. The cute feet. Those are cute uh, roller skating rink feet. <laughs> I'm, I'm very, like, made you go straight to feet out of everything. You notice the feet. Well, that's, I mean, they're, they're, they stick they out. They have nice shoes, too. <laughs> they stick out as not how you're normally supposed to hold your feet. I don't think, is this on tape? This is oh no, I think they again? go, yeah, they're taped in. So Everyone I'll... is secure, man. My favorite are like the cute little mini weapons. I think yeah, right? I have an obsession with weapons, like as you can tell. Yeah. You know that makes me want to hang out less, right? That I like weapons? Well, that you have, you didn't say you like weapons. You oh, I have an obsession. Have an obsession. <laughs> I do, I actually have. Um, so I do a lot of costumes, and one of the qualifying criteria of what costume I'm gonna do is um, cool does it weapon have is? weapons and yeah. is it badass? <laughs> nice. And that usually gauges, yes, I'm going to do it. No, I'm, gonna, I'm not nice. going to do it. I like how this is painted to look like metal. Yeah, it's really, really cute. I don't know if you could see, like, zoom in on the details, but up top, it, like, it looks like brushed metal. It has a shine to it and it has, like, a grit cute. to it. It's just really cool looking. The detail's awesome. 
the claws are helpful in getting things out, but I can't really pick anything up. So I these go say, on her. I'll be the pickup person. And you put them you on. You be the takeout person. We don't have to take them all. We'll take these guys out. She has a. Uh, told you about yourself wrist? I don't know if you can see the, the points yeah. of... Yeah, uh, all the little joints and everything move on these guys, which yeah. is, and the feet. And so the again, awkward feet, of course. The awkward feet, normal feet. Oh, God. Skinny jeans. Skinny jeans. They're fashionable. Perfect. Can we get little this guy Little poster for the little gun she comes with. Look at it. Super rad. We also have, we have Lion Cat. It's a little bit out of our reach, so we're going to leave it right there. Yonder. I was told we would get to play with it, and then I, I was told, told that somebody thanks. broke it. I'm not going to, looking in all of your eyes simultaneously, somebody's responsible for it. Well. But the lion cat's cool. Do you know it about is, the lion it cat? It is, yeah, tell me more. It can just me more. tell you if you're lying. It hangs out with this dude called The Will, The One Will, and he basically, what she does, excuse me, is uh, just call out liars. I like to think that I used to do that in my early 20s at the bar. I was the lion cat. Good thing the cat. Oh, you were the lion cat. Yeah. I was going to say, I thought the cat was around. Yeah. And I'm a what crazy... What do you assume I'm, that I was the lion? I, this is not going well. She wants to shoot me in the face with a Velcro arrow. <laughs> She's like, well, you were definitely the liar in your 20s. No, I could have used the no. lion cat. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry for making judgments. <laughs> but I do. I, ha I love... I'm a crazy cat lady. I actually have four cats. Yeah. So... I obviously need the lion cat to go on my shelf I was gonna say, with my real cats, and I'll put my answer. real cats next to the lion cat. How confused would they be by the lion cat? They kind of don't really care about much. Yeah? <laughs> they, no. You know what I heard about cats recently <laughs> is that they think everything else is a cat, so when they meow at you, they're just saying, like, you're being a bad cat. Like, I've why never is heard that, that chair being a bad cat? My friend has a stand-up routine about it, and I don't want to Is that the real thing? Off. This is what I hear from a comic in <laughs> Los Angeles, California. So it has to be true. I haven't, like, read <laughs> National Geographic it's or anything. It's true. Like well, my cats meow a lot, so... They just hate you for being a bad cat. <laughs> I, I feel like, yeah, yeah. Why I'm... aren't you using all your feet, I would say. Yeah. Yeah. Because that would be weird. Right. <laughs> Um, what else do we have? What else we got? I um, have this shirt from Saga. You do, you do have the shirt. I think you should show the shirt because so, it's a pretty awesome shirt. What does it say? High as fuck? Yes, it does. So sometimes, and this is, you'll learn this as you grow up. When you look like me and you have this general demeanor, you're wearing a flannel even though it's 98 degrees out. It's fashionable, that's you why. You have this beard attached to this head. People are going to think you're stoned all the time. So what you're gonna wanna do is just have a shirt that says high as fuck and you don't have to have that conversation. Embrace it. Ever again. Embrace it. Yeah. I can appreciate that. Well, but great. the shirt is really cool. Um, also, I wanted to let you guys know that I am doing an, a scavenger hunt. It's called The Vamp Hunt Ooh. at San Diego Comic Con. Skybound has donated a ton of these prizes that you see on the table. And um, we're giving away over $2,000 in prizes. Um, you can get more info. It's vamphunt.com. You can win some of these lovely prizes, not the ones we opened. They're going to be brand new in the box. I'm going to give you, if you see me walking around, I'll give you the ones I opened. The, grease, the greasy hand the ones greasy that you hand touched ones, all over. Some of the heads are ripped off. You could deal with it, though. These you are for can give it, we'll, just, we'll throw it in the big bag, and right. then you can give it to him in the These bag. These used to be collector's items, but now they're broken. But now so. they're touched by Mike Calzone's greasy hands, so I don't know how much they would go for on eBay. Sorry. We should have thought of that, but we should have worn gloves. <laughs> if we wore gloves, then you could still package it and do it again. So how do I join this? Say I wanted um, to start your scavenger hunt immediately after You this. would probably want to start exactly immediately, and you have till Saturday okay. to find me at Comic-Con. First person to find me with all the tasks complete wins first prize, which is over $1,500, but more prizes are continually being added, so it's a lot of shit. Yeah. You're going to win a lot of shit. Wait, so what play. do I get for finding you at this table? Um, Founder. No, you don't get anything. None? Nothing. No you get one's high just five. Gonna, oh, I can shoot I mean, you with the, the, the dark guy That's again. not really like a reward. I'm just going to take <laughs> this around Comic-Con and shoot people with it. <laughs> so I'll stay as far away from yeah. you as possible. <laughs> and you have some more stuff that you're doing. What's happening next for I'm you? I'm going to hang out. I'm going to get some chicken fingers. I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, there is a stand-up show here tonight. Where are we? Sparks Gallery? Sparks Gallery. Is that what we it's called? We are at 536th Avenue in San Diego. Yeah, the show starts. Uh, doors open at 7. Show starts at 7.30. A bunch of other awesome comics on the bill. Uh, Mia Pinchoff, Elliot Morgan, Tracy. What's Tracy's last name? Tracy Ashley from real television. The rest of us have like internet credits, which really don't mean anything. But she's a real television comic. 
So you're gonna wanna, at the very <laughs> least, come out and see her. Also see everybody else do their best. See one really good comic, and then see a bunch of other people try oh, as hard I as they can. Oh, I think you are all gonna be amazing. <laughs> and um, yeah, make sure, uh, booth 2729, to get all this awesome stuff. Thanks, guys. Thanks for joining us, y'all.